Okay, now we have food and health. What the heck was that? Food and health for IB geography. Geography. Geographic factors contributing to the incidence, diffusion, and impacts, demographic and socioeconomic, affected born and waterborne diseases, and case studies. Okay, affected born diseases are diseases that result from an infection transmitted to humans and other ma- animals by blood feeding arthropods, mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas. Examples include dengue, West Nile virus, Lyme disease, and malaria. Waterborne diseases are those that are transmitted by ingestion of contaminated water. Important diseases include diarrheal diseases, cholera, shigella, I don't know how to say it, shigella, typhoid, hepatitis, A and E, and poliomyelitis. Um, And so what are the geographic factors contributing to the incidence, diffusion, and impacts of what these vector and waterborne diseases? Well, the level of economic development in a nation will allow them to, like, prevent and cure the disease to different extents and deal with it to different extents in types of population structures maybe the disease is more um it impacts different groups to a larger extent like women pregnant women or things like that um um, maybe more impacted children more impacted because of their weaker immune system maybe inequalities within country in terms of access to health care um access to sanitation education literacy to kind of understand what the disease actually is access to, oh yeah, to nutrition yeah okay stigmatization societal norms towards the vi- towards the disease um can kind of make a barrier towards their diffusion because people are kind of reluctant to discuss them and again cultural norms so how they deal with them maybe people would rely on her- herbal herbal medicines instead of like the kind of more standard scientific medicines because of their cultures so the case study for the vector-borne disease is malaria in kenya so can no malaria has caused 445,500 deaths worldwide it's costed 12 billion us dollars per year causes mosquito populations targets the young and the old tropical climate climate change war poverty low standards of living cultural norms over half mothers are still unaware of medicine a third still rely on herbal medicines inequality the rich are more likely to receive vaccinations impacts three quarters of people are at risk 20 percent of victims are under the age of five thirty thousand people have died in kenya Solutions that they've done are the Children's Vaccination Program, which is 40% effective, President's Initiative in 2013 with the goal of 100% of cases cases getting treatment in 11 different villages, indoor residual spraying, so spraying um, kind of chemicals to deter um, mosquitoes, kill mosquitoes, and insecticide-treated nets, which are used to basically provide a net when you maybe, when you're sleeping around you, so mosquitoes don't get to you at the night time in the night time um poverty has been reduced from 50 percent to five percent from 2000 to 2012 okay now we're going to look at waterborne disease so cholera in congo slash dr congo so there in 2018 the outbreaks were the largest they've been in years causes were that in brazzaville which is the capital of um congo there is a lack of access to sanitation water from the latrines goes into the streams used for bathing there's also a large stigmatization around cholera impacts is basically five million are at risk per year there's four million cases have been four million cases in these areas 143,000 deaths it reached kinshasa which is the capital of the democratic republic of congo right next to the congo and one sixth of the population are at risk. Twenty one out of twenty six provinces were reached um, by these by this disease. The response is the WHO vaccinations for over three hundred thousand people. Oxfam provided water purification tablets and educational sessions about like what the disease actually is. Doctors Without Borders has been there since nineteen eighty one, providing chlorination points and school closures. Four point four million from unicef and 4.6 million from the who has been donated there's also been hand washing sessions to raise awareness of like general sanitation practices